The mantra of the Palestinians and their supporters since 1967 has been, end the occupation. The assumption underlying this slogan is that the only obstacle to peace is Israel's control over territories it captured defending itself in the Six-Day War. In 2005, this presumption was tested when Israel evacuated every soldier and civilian from the Gaza Strip at great emotional and financial cost. The hope was that the Palestinians would take advantage of this opportunity to demonstrate they will make peace in exchange for land. Instead, the Palestinian response was an escalation of violence, Thousands of rockets targeting Israeli schools, parks, and communities were fired into southern Israel. Terrorism continued unabated. It could have been different. Imagine if the Palestinians had ceased terror, recognized Israel as a Jewish state, and started to build their own state. If Israelis had lived in peace with the Palestinians of Gaza for the last eight years, does anyone doubt that Israel would be willing to risk trading more land for peace? Now imagine you're an Israeli. After the experience of being bombarded with thousands of lethal rockets that killed civilians brought daily life to a halt and gave men, women, children, the elderly, and the disabled 15 seconds to find shelter, would you want to repeat this experience? Would you be willing to evacuate parts of the West Bank from which Palestinians could easily launch rockets that could hit Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, and Ben-Gurion Airport? Israel's leaders and public have demonstrated time after time they are prepared to make great sacrifices and take serious risks for peace, but not in exchange for terror and insecurity. Territorial compromises by Israel must come hand in hand with a Palestinian commitment to peace. Israel has offered to withdraw from all but a sliver of the West Bank and to evacuate most of the settlers living peacefully in the area, but the Palestinians have rejected every offer and refused to sit at the negotiating table for the duration of Barack Obama's first term. It takes two parties to make peace. Slogans haven't gotten the Palestinians any closer to independence. The route to achieve their goal is clear. Face-to-face -face negotiations that lead to an agreement to end the conflict and compromises on borders, settlements, refugees, and the future of Jerusalem.